What if I told you that in about an hour, you'll leave here different? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Steven Yun. So you thought it was better to wait four years <laughs> and then tell me so that we could discuss it on television. I work up to things. <laughs> <laughs> For this list, we're looking at our favorite roles, interview moments, and more involving this talented Oscar-nominated actor. What's your favorite Steven Yeun moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Appearing on I Think You Should Leave Yeun appeared in the final sketch of the first episode of Netflix's hit sketch comedy series. And like with many things he appears in, he made a good thing even better. Thank you, this is incredible. In this segment, Young plays a birthday party host who finds his evening turned upside down after one guest, played by Tim Robinson, makes an unhinged accusation after eating his gift receipt. And then you touch the receipt, and then I ate the receipt, and now I'm sick off of your mud pie. What the hell are you talking about? You're probably sick because you ate paper, you friggin' psycho. Soon enough, Everyone is against him. Somebody call 911. Oh Tell him to send an ambulance. Tell him it's uh, the ugly house on Kenmore, the one where you could see the KFC sign through their front window. And he's left utterly befuddled by the inexplicable turn of events. Yun shows how adept he is at playing normal when everyone around him is losing their mind. We think he should stay in the comedy world. I just try not to use a ton of paper towel. Number 9. GQ Actually Me Interview If we ever got to meet Steven Yeun, it would take all of our willpower not to ask him a million questions. But when the responses are this thoughtful, can you blame us for wanting to? How was getting naked with Conan O'Brien? Every bit as magical as you could imagine. In 2021, Yun took part in GQ's Actually Me series, answering questions from fans around the web. Talking about experiences like working with director Pong Joon Ho and his childhood culinary memories, Yun is personable and engaging. As a Korean American kid, I don't always know what I'm eating. You know, I just eat whatever my mom has made. So uh, I don't know if I've explicitly eaten Minari or not. He also provides encouragement to someone looking to make it in Hollywood. You should just try to find out what is uniquely yours and speak from that place. I don't think any actor's journey you can replicate, so get out of the box. Watching this video feels like sitting down with an old friend and catching up. Number 8. Starring in Naysayer you can tell Yun is a truly remarkable actor by how well he can create a fully formed character, even with purposefully limited resources. In this short film, Yun plays a father who drives off with his infant child and tells the mother why over the phone. He's with me. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it has to be this way. Yun's co star is his former Walking Dead co star, Alana Masterson. And even though she's not seen, they still form amazing dramatic chemistry together. You said that Colin is in the car with you? Yes. What? What you, yes, he's in the car with me. Almost all of Naysayer is focused on Yun as he drives down a barren road. But it never feels tedious thanks to his skill in delivering dialogue and conveying an array of emotions. Ian, I'm so sorry this is getting worse. Maybe blocking you did this, but I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. We'd never be a naysayer about Steven Yun's acting skills after seeing this. Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out. Number 7. Appearing on Drunk History Few shows provided learning and laughs better than Drunk History. In this installment, actor and radio personality Phil Hendry tells the story of Daniel Inoue. The regional uh, intermen... Internet... The Internet Regiment Team. Woo! Man. <laughs> <laughs> Inoue was a World War II veteran who lost his right arm in combat and who became both the first Japanese-American congressional representative and senator. We need representation of the Japanese-Americans. Even though it's part of a comedy show with a non-sober narrator, Yun still manages to create pathos 
and makes us root for Inoue in the face of bigotry. Inoue sadly passed away a couple of years before this episode aired, but we hope he'd be moved by Yun's tribute. Number 6. Wired Interview with Ali Wong Yun and Ali Wong might play the best of enemies on beef, but they seem to get along pretty well in real life. Oh my God! All right, okay. In their Wired autocomplete interview, the duo goes through the internet's most popular questions about themselves. Yun talks about things like getting his big break on The Walking Dead and working with Robert Pattinson. I like me some Robert Pattinson. I got to work with him recently on a film, Mickey 17, and I cannot talk about it. Bong Joon-ho directed it, so that's fun. He also demonstrates a great rapport with his co-star, listening and laughing along with her. It's a nice palate cleanser after a day spent binging their intense series. We hope this duo finds a way to keep working together, including but not limited to as themselves. Is that th the answer that you're all are looking for? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Starring in Nope One of the best things about Steven Yeun is his taste in collaborators. Case in point, working with Jordan Peele on his sci-fi horror film Nope. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Totally. Yun, who had previously appeared on Peele's Twilight Zone revival, plays a theme park owner who witnessed something unspeakably horrifying as a child star. So what happened really, man? You haven't seen the Bad Gordy sketch on SNL? I mean, it pretty much nailed it better than I could. This being a Jordan Peele movie, the traumatizing events don't stop at childhood. Yun isn't the main star of Nope, but he still manages to stand out with a layered performance and incredible Western fashion. To this and many other Yun performances, we have to say, absolutely. You ready? Oh, come on, that ain't nothing. Are you ready? Number 4. Visiting Korean Spa with Conan O'Brien Steven Yun has appeared on Conan O'Brien's show numerous times, and for good reason. The combined forces of Yun and the lanky comedian are comedy gold. It was, it's just Yun, and you had never corrected me in I, hundreds of hours of conversation. <laughs> I just, I felt bad. <laughs> but they might never top this moment in 2015 when they visited a Korean spa together. At the beginning of the segment, Yun tells O'Brien about the dress policy, or lack thereof. You walk, walk around here naked? No one told me that was part of this remote. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be naked. I've never been naked. Much of the humor comes from O'Brien's exaggerated awkwardness, and it's made even more enjoyable by how much amusement Yun gets from seeing Conan out of his element. Is this hurt? It might not be the most relaxing spa day, but it's definitely one of the funniest. Number 3. Starring in Minari Yun has shown his range in numerous movies, but we especially want to highlight the one that gave him his first Oscar nomination. David! Garden is a small. Oh, no. Garden of Eden is big. In this moving period drama, Yun plays the patriarch of a Korean family who moves to rural Arkansas, trying to achieve the fabled American dream. As Jacob, Yun creates a flawed but sympathetic man learning what it means to truly provide for a family. In both intense and calmer moments, Yun has our attention completely. <laughs> This was also a major turning point for Hollywood, as Yun's performance made him the first Asian American to receive a Best Actor nomination. Number 2. Church Crying Scene – Beef Beef quickly became the juiciest new show of the season thanks to its gripping plot and Yun and co-lead Ali Wong's incredible performances as two enraged drivers squaring off. If we have to single out one moment for praise, though, it's this one, from the third episode. We ask for your spirit to come and fill this place, that we might worship you joyfully. At a church service, struggling contractor Danny Cho finds himself moved to tears by a choir performance of O Come to the Altar. Though he initially tries to act stoic, he can only hold in his emotions for so long. It's incredible to see how Yun shows Danny's unburdening without saying a single word. We also have to praise his stunning performance of Amazing Grace a few episodes later. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sexual Identity – PSAs of the Future 
before fame. Yun starred in this hilarious video for the Second City. According to the new legal definition of gay enacted by President Chuck Norris, you are gay. Voicing Mark on Invincible. As the titular hero, Yun is absolutely super. This is my home and I won't let you destroy it! Starring in Burning. This South Korean psychological thriller is a great showcase for Yun's talents. Number 1. Playing Glenn on The Walking Dead There's no objectively correct answer for best Walking Dead character. However, there's a reason why so many fans rank Glenn Rhee near the top of their lists. Hey kid, what'd you do before all this? Delivered pizzas? Why? The pizza delivery driver turned zombie fighter gave hope and light to a show that tended to lean rather bleak. Back at the tank, why'd you stick your neck out for me? Call it foolish, naive hope. That if I'm ever that far up shit creek, somebody might do the same for me. I guess I'm an even bigger dumbass than you. Quick with a one-liner and ready, willing, and able to help however possible, Glenn is exactly the kind of person you would want around for a zombie apocalypse. Actually, he's the kind of person you'd want around for any situation. I know what you did. And it's not gonna happen again. The overall quality of The Walking Dead wavered from season to season, but Yun's incredible performance was a consistent highlight. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.